I'm here with Janet Havorka with Family Chart Masters, the chart chick, yes. and she's going to tell us about some of the really cool family trees she's worked on that might inspire you to put around your home, in a library, or wherever you want to display your family tree. So Janet, tell me some of the, like, what do you have here? Tell me about your collection. So what we have here is our annual favorites collection. At the end of the year, we go back through our clients. We never share what you, what you print with us uh, unless we ask for permission at the end of the year. And at the end of the year, we pick our 20 favorite charts and we put them out over social media and the blog yes, and everything I've like seen that. that. And then we display them at conferences. And it, we love people's reactions. What's cool is that they love the charts. But then when you see your own family in those charts, it's really awesome. Absolutely. So. Have you ever had somebody come up and go, oh, that's my family? Yeah, well, and that's part of what we promise the clients is that we'll display it for a year at conferences and we leave the ancestors if they want to. They'll, we'll leave the ancestors the way they are. And a lot of times we find cousins for them. So that's, that's so cool. Yeah. All right, so let's zoom in and we're going to talk about some of the cool charts that you okay. had the opportunity to work on this year. Okay. And you can be inspired to create some charts for you, your yeah. own family. So this is a chart that we did for a client who was giving a gift. It was a Christmas gift for her brother. Who doesn't want a sister like that, right? And this brother was in the military, and they had a long patriarchal line of military ancestors and really distinguished people who founded countries and all sorts of things. Um, and so we went through and, and put the people's information there. She also did some newspaper articles, some documents. We did a timeline along the bottom of the different wars that they were involved in. Super cool gift, beautiful canvas for her brother for Christmas. It was gorgeous. So this is another one of our annual favorites. This was actually a set of three charts. This man had three wives, and all of his children are here down on the bottom with their siblings and their spouses and the grandchildren. But for each of these charts, he did a different wife's ancestors. So this one has this wife and him, their ancestors, and all of their children. And then there was another chart with this wife and him and all of their ancestors. So that each child has a chart with all of their siblings, because they're a family, but with their own ancestors on it, which was a really great way to show step families or blended families, um, other adoption or anything like that. We can put it all together and our designers make it, make it look good. So this is actually my own chart. When we first started, we had a chart in our dining room that had my own family on it, but my son wanted a little more involved chart with a lot more of the research that we've done. And it starts with my kids, some new trendy fonts, uh, but one of the special things we put on here that my son was interested in is the icons that we put in for immigrant ancestors, colonial ancestors, uh, all sorts of things, people who fought in wars, military, there's all sorts of things you can put icons for. Um, and it gives a lot of the story, a lot of the pictures. It's a really engaging chart when you walk into my home. So this is one of the centerpiece charts that we have here at Roots Tech that we are, chose for one of our annual favorites. It's four lines of a family that comes together over here in the grandparents that were the point of this family reunion that this family did. This one's 20 feet. Our record this last year was over 600 feet for a chart. Uh, this one's a beautiful example, though, of putting a lot of different parts of families together including all of the blended families, including the in-laws lines, all of that stuff. Our designers can put together anything like that. We do a lot of what we call all-in-one charts, which is every person in your file, no matter where that goes. Um, and our designers are really expert at that. So the way you get started on one of those is you come to familychartmasters.com. There's a Start Here button, and you can send us any kind of file through that. You can also download from Ancestry or Family Search. And you send us that information, one of our, you'll be assigned a designer who will work back and forth with you with mock-ups and can put together anything you can envision. And it's 100% guaranteed you don't have to buy anything until we go to print. And at that point, once you approve it, then you pay for it and we send it out and you have an awesome family reunion or a beautiful centerpiece to your home. And uh, we love helping you display your family and inspire the next generation. So there you have it some really cool uh, charts that you can display your family history on your wall at home. If you liked any particular charts, please tell me in the comment section below. And if you want to learn more about Family Chart Masters, check the description. Mm -hmm.